but the lord really leading me to talk about this subject this topic and this topic is is regarding marriage now i want to be honest guys i want to be very transparent with you i myself am not married but regardless of the status in my personal life i'm going to tell you the reason why marriage is still relevant in 2024 and why it will always remain relevant the reason why marriage is still relevant is because god created the institution of marriage god created the entire idea of marriage because we are in the year of 2024 and the year of 2024 if you look at it from from a societal point of view marriage is is not respected anymore marriage is not taken seriously anymore you go to any workplace you go to everybody's flirting with everybody else guys i've seen it myself sadly but even then it's it's people of the world right those outside of christ but i mean the sadder thing would be to, to see somebody in christ commit that sin of adultery that, that's heartbreaking guys you weren't created to be alone sure if you feel called to singleness amen if that is your conviction if that's your personal conviction that you really if you sincerely feel from the lord that you were in are not called to marriage all right amen the entire idea of marriage is a god-given institution it is god made it wasn't man-made marriage has always existed and always will exist as long as the believers are the bride of christ the world will be the world the world will not respect marriage the world will have these, these corrupt ideologies all of a sudden need to andrew tate somehow it popped up on my feet and he was encouraging young men that to not get married to, to sleep with as many people as you want save up as much money as you can you know uh, live your life before you commit yourself you commit yourself to to a marriage and that that guys is doctrines of devils right i'm not attacking tate i'm attacking the ideology behind of what he's saying what he's saying is is not it's not gonna work guys you might think, oh, it might bring you temporary satisfaction, a sense of pride, a sense of, of accomplishment. But in the long run, it's not going to work because that's, it wasn't God's intention for, for man. God's intention for man was faithfulness, fidelity, was remaining faithful. After all, that's the characteristic in the heart of God. The heart of God is faithfulness. The heart of God is remaining faithful. That is God's heart. And when there are ideologies that are brought in of fornication which is sex before marriage adultery my friend you're already walking on the eggshells of adultery you're you're right on the line and that wasn't god's intention first of all god understands the heartbreak because people do it to him all the time even us believers we all fall short don't we that's what's so good about the blood of jesus is that it washes us clean even when we cheat on god now god is is god almighty god is able to forget god says if you repent i'll throw your sins into the sea of forgetfulness god can forget and not remember your wrongs but man wasn't wired to forget things man can try extremely hard to forget but man wasn't given the privilege of forgetting things you might even be thinking well, who are you an unmarried man trying to advise married couples apostle paul was not married yet he was giving advice read first corinthians chapter 7